going to show you how to set up step by step the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. It'll work for the A9 as well. So the first thing is go ahead and turn the tablet on. Just hold that power button until it boots up and then you should be at a welcome screen here. From here you want to choose your language. I'm going to go with the English. Tap on start. For your review, go ahead and read through these. These first two must be selected to proceed. Okay, you can click on the details of uh, each of these. And this last one here is optional, okay? So for me, I'm fine with all of those checked. I'll tap on agree. Easy setup with another device. You can set this up with another device. If you have another Galaxy phone or an Android uh, phone or tablet, an iPhone or iPad, or you can just set up manually, okay? For myself, I'm gonna go ahead and set up manually gonna choose my Wi-Fi network here then I'm gonna put my password after you put in your password tap on connect getting your tablet ready this may take a few minutes let's be patient here copy apps and data you can choose to transfer your apps photos contacts Google account basically your Gmail and more okay and you can transfer it from if I click on next here from another Android device, tablet or phone, or an iPhone or iPad, okay? But for myself, I'm gonna click on back here, and I'm gonna click on don't copy, I want a fresh clean install on this tablet. Here's your Google sign-in, go ahead and sign in to your Google account. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this, I'll do this another time, so I would just tap on skip. Google services, use location, allow scanning, and send usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? So that's, it's, uh, it's up to you. For mine, I'm fine having all those toggled on and I will tap accept. Protect your tablet. This is basically a password. Uh, you can do uh, face recognition, ID password, pin password, regular password, or the uh, pattern, okay? So for myself, I'm just gonna do with pin and I'm gonna choose six digit here, pin, and then I'm gonna tap on continue. Use anyway, reconfirm one more time, and then tap on OK. Here they want you asking you to sign into your Samsung account. You can click on here and put in information, or you can use that QR code. For me, I'm not even going to sign into my Samsung account for now, so I'm going to click on forgot password or don't have an account for now. I'll tap on that right there, and I would just choose set up later in settings. And this is tells you why you need a Samsung account. So read through that. So you most likely will want one. And then I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. I'll sign in another time. Samsung service legal information. The terms and conditions, uh, you must select that to proceed. You can do tap on terms and conditions and read the de uh, details. And all these underneath it are all optional, okay? For me, I'm just going to go ahead and have that terms and conditions selected, and then I'm gonna tap on agree. Samsung service per, uh, permissions, go ahead and read through that, and you can check or uh, toggle it on or off. It's up to you, I'll leave them both on. I will tap on agree. Choose your display, do you want like light mode, or do you kinda of like the dark mode? Okay, I'm gonna go with dark mode here, and I'll tap on next. Actually, let me just go with light here, and I'll click on next. It says get recommended apps. I'm gonna tap on next here. You're all set up, click on finish. And voila, we are now finished. So pretty simple. Questions or issues, just uh, comment below.